For years, Albert Garcia was a fixture at Temple High School football games. Known as the Helmet Man, you could find him with his cowbell and a 1930 Wildcat football helmet in the stands every Friday night. Well, sadly, Garcia died February 7th after suffering a heart attack, but his presence in the Wildcat family will continue. Our own Curtis Quillen is here to share how. Hey, Curtis. Hey, Doug. Hey, Leslie. Garcia's family donated his helmet to the athletic department in Temple, where it will be on display. One of the football program's assistant coaches says it will help keep the helmet man's legacy alive in Temple as coaches continue to mold the young men in the school. The helmet was donated during a balloon release Sunday afternoon at Wildcat Stadium in Temple, and today they put it alongside Temple's current helmets, helping immortalize Wildcat history. Albert's family says Wildcat football meant everything to him, and this will help him continue to watch his favorite team every day. So he was always make sure I had my ticket, make sure he had money to buy stuff at the concessions, helmet, cowboy, let's go. Mr. Garcia was is the embodiment of Temple football. I mean, it's, it's what it's about. It really is. Now Sadler adds the players heard Garcia in the stands every Friday night. You can hear the cowbell there. It was a driving force for them tonight. After the Olympics, we'll hear from one of Albert's friends as we bring you the full story of the helmet man. Guys. All right, Curtis, looking forward to that. Thank you, sir.